What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you for all you new guys tuning in. Um, the, the subscribers recently have gone up and I, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, only doing this for three months and yeah, I'm, I'm almost at 100 subscribers, which is phenomenal. I'm surprised. 100 people actually well almost 100 people um you know hit the button for subscribe so i i am super ecstatic for that and i thank you all so making this video to kind of tell you guys what's in store for this thing um i will be making the same video for my wife's truck um because it will probably happen before this one. But, um, as of recent, I, I haven't shown you guys any videos on what I've been doing with it or anything like that, uh, primarily because um, money's a bit tight at the moment. But, I want to let you guys know roughly what I plan on doing with this thing. So, excuse me. Um, full rebuild um i plan on stripping this truck down to absolutely nothing and uh completely rebuilding it um cab body fenders all off motor as far as the motor goes um i plan on getting a different block um if uh reasons for that being this uh this year model isn't necessarily the absolute best block um th this one's the second one i've owned with this block and i personally have never had any problems out of the 506 block but uh i do want a better block if you want to know about the blocks please let me know down in the comments below about making, uh, you know, a history on the 6.5s and the different types of blocks because there's a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, I plan on completely tearing this thing down to bare frame, um, new motor, uh, new trans, and uh, I plan on bringing y'all along for the ride with me. Um, you know, I... I plan on keeping this truck for quite a while, and I've always loved these trucks, never had any issues out of them. I've owned a pile of them, uh, two of them being with the 6.5, um, and I plan on just making it the way I want to. Uh, maybe different interior. Um, I have seen a couple guys go with several different interiors, and I think they look sharp, um, but maybe uh, a different lift. Definitely different wheels and tires. Uh, these ones are Hilo 972s that the previous owner completely pitted and scratched crap out of, and he had painted them. Black previously, I tried getting all of it off with a wire wheel and that didn't work out too good. So, I plan on getting different wheels and tires. I love the tires, uh, the wheels. I mean, I bought I bought for 200 bucks. I have no complaints out of them, but I want something that I like. Um, paint, um, I really like the white. I've always been a white truck fan, but uh, uh, kind of want to, I, I think I might want to paint it something different. Um, I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, I, uh, I really like the white. Um, I like a couple other shades of white. This one is Olympic white, and I love just that, uh, you know, the, the, this is the original hood, of course, I painted the, the, uh, front grill and the fenders and stuff or the fender flares 
Um, and that rear door, I imagine, was replaced because when I bought it, it, uh, of course, it's a different shade of white, and I had to fix the bottom half, which is a different shade because I didn't have the uh, correct color match, but that's a, that's a different story. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I plan on doing uh, a full rebuild um, with a different block. Um, I got a couple blocks in mind. Um, definitely uh, main studs, head studs like this one. I, I don't plan on getting rid of this motor. This motor has absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, but we'll be roughly doing the same thing to my wife's truck. Uh, we actually plan on buying something in the future, not to give too much away. <laughs> um, but we, I plan on saving this motor if, uh, if need be. Um, the, uh, I, you know, I, I've always just wanted something nice for myself. Um, not that this isn't a nice truck, but of course there can be improvements across the board. Um, you know, I, I wanted, I wanted have it my way kind of deal. And, uh, you know, I, it's not that I'm not happy with it. Um, if I wasn't happy with it, I would have sold it and you guys would have never seen these videos. Um, but I, I the, to me, there's room for improvement and, uh, I, I want to take you guys along for the ride. Um, I also want you guys' feedback of what you'd like to see. Of course, I'll be going through, uh, everything I do to it. Um, like I said, new block, uh. I'm completely tearing the motor down and I'll be rebuilding that with a bunch of goodies. Um, so new turbo in the future, uh, plan on building an intake for it. Um, different injection pump. Um, not that that mine's bad and it doesn't have uh, quite a few mods to the fuel. Um, but I, I, I do plan on getting a different injection pump. So a full rebuild. Um, and I know some of the newer guys getting into the 6.5 world would uh, greatly appreciate to see that. So I hope I can be the one to make that video for you guys. Um, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're great motors. I, I, I like them. <laughs> Um, I love these trucks, these GMT 400 trucks, um, definitely one of my favorite body styles, uh, for Chevy, for sure. Um, lift kit, I don't know if I'm going to go with a different lift kit, um, you know, I, I like, uh, big trucks, of course, um, but where I drive it every day. I want it to be more or less a practical, um, practical truck. Of course, I do plan on having a family in the future, which is why I wanted a crew cab. Um, it being my second crew cab. A after I bought my first crew cab, I absolutely fell in love with it. And, um, I would not, personally, I wouldn't have, uh, a single cab uh, again, unless, uh, it was just a fun build or, uh, if it was just me pot putting around in it. Um, but yeah, uh, my, um, plan on doing something with the rear end. Um, it's got, um, limited slip rear end. Uh, I would like to go with say like a barrel locker. Um, I would like to find out what uh, more front uh, front axle, steering axle components there are for these trucks. Um, you know, I would like to see if kryptonite tie rod ends would, or kryptonite tie rod sleeves would work, and stuff like that. Um, definitely some different mirrors. These are these are good mirrors. Definitely better than stock. Um, 
but my old, my old truck had the ones with the lights in them and boosted auto parts, make some killer mirrors. Uh, they, they're, you know, they are what they are as far as price goes. They, they make their quality. They know what it's worth. That's, that's it. Um, but I do plan on doing something different with the mirrors. I would like the lights back. Um, get them white as well. Uh, some of you don't know, I have the white lower marker lights with the amber turn signal. So when you flip the switch, it turns into amber. I would like that for the mirror lights as well. Um, but yeah, I, and I uh, have thrown the idea um, back and forth of whether I should swap this back over to a dually or not and um you know i just don't know um i like duallys um it's not that i don't i just when i swapped this over to a single wheel um i didn't really look that far into the future as to like how much i would be hauling with it of course, I, I haul a uh, car trailer and shit every once in a while when I have to. Um, haul some trailers for work and stuff with it. But, um, I plan on getting a gooseneck trailer and me and a buddy plan on doing something, some stuff with that. So, I don't know. Um, it's not that, again, it's not that I don't like dualies, but... I like the the dually setup where it's the dually wheels in back and the regular singles out front. To me, that is like the best looking setup. I don't really like, you know, how the the dually wheels when you you have them, there's no there's no lip on the wheel. The hub actually sticks out further than the wheel, and that's to compensate for. Like, uh, if you were to rotate your tires properly, um, your fronts, or then go on the back, um, you know, I just, I like the single front wheels and the dually rears. Of course, I'll have to find another bed. Um, I like the fender flares, but again, when I redo the truck, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Um... I, I, I might. I, I really like the pocket style fenders. But I would like you guys' input um, as to what you would like to see. Um, but I'll, I'll be completely tearing this thing apart uh, in the future. Primarily right after the, well, when I buy a house that has a garage or some sort of building that I can work under um and I'm not currently working at the job that I'm working because I work too many freaking hours um but that is that's kind of what's in store and I, I really want to hear you guys' feedback um you know I again I love my truck and I plan on keeping it for a long time. So I want to do everything I possibly can to make it run as long as possible. It is a 97. It's made it this far. It has 264,000 miles on the original motor. Um, aside from like head gasket and head studs, there's really nothing that's ever been done with it. So, and aside from what I've shown you guys that I've done with it, if, if you don't know a whole lot about my truck, if you're just tuning into this video, uh, I've made plenty of videos on what I've done to this truck. Um, I know there, that one I made that like my build so far or whatever, uh, it's kind of quiet. If I need to make that video again, please let me know. Um, I'd love, I'd, I don't mind making videos for y'all at all. Uh, I, I want to, that's why I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, I hope, you know, you guys will join me for this adventure. Um, you know, I, I might make a, a video 
as to the, the things I don't care for about this thing. I, I've seen a few people do that. Not to copy them, but, you know, the, there might be some people that say, like, um, you know, well, what, what would you change if you could on any build or whatever? Well, why would you buy a truck and completely change, you know, the, like, uh... Why, why wouldn't you buy the truck that you have to do the least amount of changes to? That's all I'm saying. Um, like, buying one of these things and throwing a new, like, a newer, like, an 03 Chevy interior in it and stuff like that. Granted, looks cool. I like it. Um, but, you know, for the most part, this truck is going to look a lot of the same. They're just going to be things that make it better, in my opinion. Um, as far as, like, horsepower and torque with the new block and everything else I plan on doing to it, I, I mean, I'm running right around 300 horsepower with it, which is quite a bit to say, considering these things only came out with, like, 195 stock and, I think, 440 torque. Um, I'm definitely not stock anymore. It has... A lot more giddy up and go than stock but um, I, I really want to see that number go up and I don't want to surprise people at what you know these things can do um, maybe later put it on dyno after everything's done but I hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you have any questions comments concerns leave them down in the comments if you would like to see any anything any <laughs> any at all uh, please leave suggestions down in the comments. I'll make that video. Um, I've made several videos for um, other people. Uh, go go back and check out some of my old videos or older videos. And thank you, almost a hundred people, for the last three months um, subscribing to this channel. I've only been doing this for three months, like I said, and almost a hundred people have subscribed. Literally like 20 this week, which I, I every morning I'd wake up and I'd holy crap like um, You know, I just thank you guys. I, I greatly appreciate it, but I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching later